hello everyone welcome back to my channel this is your girl camille today i will be working on a 10 inch round canvas and i want to work with some glitter guys you know i want to create a dahlia flower in just glitter all right but of course i'll be adding just some regular paints to hold that the pattern of the, of the spoon swipe technique just to create that beautiful effect okay i'll be adding various uh, colors and sizes of the glitter all right so as you can see i've started off with a fine glitter and this glitter is called gold rush and all these glitters that i'm using guys they're by folk art and i poured them in a cup because you know what um sometimes these paints when you pour them straight from the bottle they have clumps you know so you just want to make sure that it pours smoothly this banana cream by deca art is a beautiful color it was a bit bright so i toned it down by adding um, pearl white just to soften that yellow i didn't want to just use a pearl white i wanted to add a bit of a yellow creamish just a beautiful soft color so i've decided to use various colors and various glitter in each layer so you guys just watch the video all the way to the end you will see this is my first layer um, of this uh, spoon swipe this is the first layer of the um, the dahlia flower and um, the colors that I added they're a bit different in each layer so you'll have to watch it guys and see all right here I've added um, splendid gold and it's a beautiful uh, gold by deco art as well and you know guys I've mixed my paint with artist loft pouring medium and um, it kind of, you know, have the consistency where it's a bit on the thick side. You don't want to make it too thick where it can't pour. All right, so just mix your paint one to one ratio. Add some water if you want or one to two ratio. You will know based on the type of paint you use. Okay, the two paint might need a bit more, you know, uh, pouring medium or, you know, a bit more water just to get it to the consistency that you want okay i really do hope you guys enjoy today's content and of course if you do don't forget to give this video a thumbs up you know share this video with your friends and family and if you haven't subscribers yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit the bell hit all so that you're notified each time i post a new video guys you know i'm all about my flowers okay if you check out my playlist you will find you know um spoon swipe technique and each time i do this technique you will find something a bit different you know something that maybe you can say aha i can do that okay i have different techniques as well in this fluid art journey and i just want to share with you guys so go ahead and uh, have fun all right and i will see you for the close-up of the wet result and the dried result so don't you go away thank you so much for those tuning in for the first time i want to say listen each time i swipe with my spoon i wipe my spoon off you know with a napkin it's very important that your spoon is clean at all time to you know just give that nice clean look of the petal you don't really want to have that transfer of colors you know from the spoon back onto your swipe right so you just want to keep your spoon clean have your napkin ready this is a lengthy um process and i know it's a slow it's lengthy because it's a slow pace and you just want to take your time with it all right if you notice um this part uh it's just i've done it at a regular speed i haven't fast forward i haven't sped it up but going forward for my second layers and my third and fourth you know it depends on how much layers you want to add the more layers you add it give you that 3d effect okay but i have um, sped this up because you know i don't want to make it too lengthy but of course right now this is just the regular pace and this is i'm just showing you how i'm taking my time um you really don't want to rush it you just want to have fun with it um yeah it's it's a fun technique guys you know you are painting you're getting your colors of your flowers in one shot you don't have to use a pencil to draw your flower out you don't have to go get your paintbrush to paint in the colors it's so much fun to um to dive into the world of fluid art enjoying acrylic pouring it's just it's amazing guys you know uh yes i do draw and yes i can draw and everything but i'm all about um 
fine art i do love fine art but i do love fluid art because it's one of those um uh techniques where you're like oh my gosh it blows your mind it's so magical you know that's one of the reason why i um i'm sharing this with you you know because i want you to find some fun with colors and just explore all right guys i do hope you enjoy today's content see you for the close-up of the wet results all right don't you go away thank you so much
Thank you.